Hi there, and uh, welcome to the video where we are going to show you how to update your pricing in Construction Maestro. Uh, right now, when you open up Construction Maestro, you will be looking at the main menu that you see here. And one thing I would like to uh, point out is that you can look up at the very top here and see what release of Construction Maestro you are on. Right now, I am on the current release of 5.1.34. The last four numbers represent the version of Microsoft Excel that you are running. So if you call in for some help and we ask you what release you're on, you now know what release you're on by looking up at the top from the main menu. Okay, first we're gonna to go to product setup. So we click on product setup here. And you'll notice that the categories are broke down like so, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is if I wanted to update my lumber pricing, I would go and look for lumber. There it is, lumber pricing, lumber products. And I click on lumber products, and it pulls up a window that looks like this. Now, lumber is in the first tab. Laminated columns are in the second tab. Pre-cut uh, stringers for decks are in the third tab. Wooden post caps for tops of decks are in the fourth tab. And prefab railing, if you have prefab railing you want to put together, um, you know, that has a, just one item skew, but it's a, a set of items, you can put that in here. Okay, so we're going to go back to the lumber tab. And notice this 2x4x7.72 by by is actually a pre-cut, 2x4 pre-cut. And notice the item number right now is 2492. If I wanted to change that to match the point of sale system uh, item number or QuickBooks item number, I can go in here and change it. I would just say, well, let's say, let's pretend that it is a 2 by 4 uh, PC. Let's say that's your new item number. Just come up here and hit update. That is now the item number for a 2 by 4 pre-cut. Okay, and then you can also change your pricing right here. So let's say those are now 239. Just punch in 239 and you hit update. Done deal. It's as simple as that. One other thing I would also like to point out uh, about lumber while we're in here, I guess, is that uh, you can go in and select the use of what you want to use a 2x4 pre cut for. So if you notice down here in the right corner, where it says all uses, you scroll down and we wanna make sure that stud is selected. There it is. And that's the only thing it's selected for. So that's the only use that we're using a two by four pre-cut for, okay? So if you checked something else, uh, then it would show up in the menu when it come time to select that item. Uh, you would have a choice between the pre-cuts or the eights or the tens or the 12 and so on, okay? All right, so this is a lesson on how to change the pricing. Click on it, 289, update, it's that simple. Close, okay. Now, I also wanna show you an automated way to do this, okay. Um, you can actually uh, use a tool that we have and put it on your desktop where you can export items to a spreadsheet change the prices there and then import them back in. So if you notice right down here in the bottom left corner, we have an import export pricing button. So watch this, we're gonna leave Construction Maestro right now. And yes, I want to leave. Okay, and then we'll close this. All right, if you go into uh, Maestro related items, okay, I have these in a folder right on my desktop. But how you get to these tools right here is you right click on Maestro, you go down to properties, and you open the file location. This is now the Maestro folder that you're in. So if you scroll down to subsystem, right there, subsystem, you will find some tools in here that you can use. One of them is database backup, uh, fastener uses, Lumber uses. Uh, I'm looking for others. 
lumber costing utility might be the useful. And then this one here is the one we want right now. It's the Maestro Item Report Generator. Okay, so that Maestro Item Report Generator, you can just right click on it, copy it, and just paste it to your desktop. Okay, and the other tools that we talked about, all right, which will be in a different video. So the one we want to concentrate on right now is Maestro Item Report Generator. All right, and then just close these. Now, I dumped mine into this form over here, so I already have it. So, but I just want to show you how to paste it to your desktop. I like to try to keep, you know, some order here. So when I open up these, I have these tools. Now, I want to click on this Maestro Item Report Generator. When I click on it, it's loading the path to where Maestro is. Now, I don't want that one. I want to go to where I keep uh, the file that we were working on right now. Go down here, Master Database, and select that item right there. That was the database that I was on. Now, you won't have to do that. Yours is going to come up right to the correct folder for you. But you got to remember, I have... Uh, a lot of different databases in my system, so I have to go and browse for it. But you will not have to. Uh, unless you're using a Mobile Maestro device or a Mobile Maestro Plus, uh, then it will come up to uh, the correct path um, automatically for you, so you won't have to browse. All right? And then the, this path will also come up, the Maestro folder path, C Program Files Maestro. Just leave them both alone and hit Continue. Okay, notice we have some categories here. So I'm going to show you lumber. I'm just going to click on lumber here. And I am going to uh, just click on this right here, the Excel icon. And we're going to sort them by SKU and description. Let me just hit continue. This item generator will go in and create a new Excel sheet. It pops it up like so. So you can come in here now. You've got a filter here at the top for anything that you're trying to filter down to see. You got your all your item numbers here. So everything's filtered across the top. Okay. Now here's your price. All right. Make sure the price, don't go in and alter this Excel spreadsheet. The current format for importing pricing into Maestro is the A column or the first column has to be the item number. The second column is the description of the product, and the third column has to be the price. It's that format, okay? All right, so you come in and you change something. Let's say this is 54 now, this one's 68, uh, these are uh, 899, um, this one here is went down to 15, 55. See how I'm changing these? And now I'm going to save this file. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to save as. Now I can save it as an Excel sheet or I can save it as a text file. Now, the reason I would save it as a text file, if it's a giant file, save it as a text file. The reason I tell you to do that is because Excel sheets have a lot of overhead. So when you're in Maestro and you click on the import pricing and you select an Excel sheet, it's going to take a lot longer to get through that list uh, if it's an Excel sheet than it is if it's a text file. So what I always do is I save it like this. I go to Browse. Um, I Instead of choosing an Excel workbook, I'm going to go down, click on this, and I'm going to choose Tab Delimited Text. By choosing that, now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to say uh, lumber pricing 053018. I'm going to put this on my desktop. So I'm going to scroll over here, click on the desktop, and save that. Okay? So if I go in and open it now, you'll see it's just a text file, but it's delimited by tabs. Okay? So... I will now go back into Maestro. And we wait for Maestro to open. Sometimes it takes a, a, a minute or so to open. So, 
especially if you're getting an update. I think I'm getting a Windows update right now. I can tell by the sluggishness of uh, the, the operation of this laptop. And I have an i7 um, chip, so it's the latest chip, and it runs uh, pretty pretty fast. I think we're getting a Windows update here at the same time. Okay, so now we've got it open. We're going to go down here to Product Setup. And instead of going in longer changing prices here, like we just did a little while ago, we're going to hit Import Export Pricing. So I am going to hit Import Pricing. I'll say OK. Well, we have to know where the file is. Right now it's just on the C drive, so we're going to hit Browse. And it's on the desktop. But it's not an Excel file. So I want to change this to All Files or Text File. So I choose Text File. Look, okay, there it is, lumber pricing, today's date. So I'm going to select it and open it. Okay, this little doohickey here, this file includes header row. Um, that just is asking a question of whether or not your list had a header. Uh, you know, like for instance, the first column, the very top line would say skew. The second uh, column would be description, and the third column price. Well, we'd want to kick that one out because there's no price on the word price. You see what I'm saying? So just click the file includes header row. If you forget it, it's not the end of the world. It'll just reject it. It'll tell you it was rejected. Okay? Don't worry about these file formats down here. These are for some of the point of sale companies. Uh, so you don't have to mess with this. Just all others. Hit next. It's showing you the list of everything that was on that spreadsheet right now. Okay, which in this case was a text file, not a spreadsheet. All right, and then we're going to say uh, import. There it is. 115 records were just updated with the new pricing. None of them were rejected, so we hit close. Now, if there were some that were rejected, they would show up in that window. It would show the item number, the description of the item, and the price. It will show it. And then if there's several in there, you can hit the print button and print out the list so you can go in and you know troubleshoot and find out what is missing. I hope this uh, video was helpful. Um, appreciate you looking at it. and. Uh, you have a great day. We'll see you later. Next video.